Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create AI art to sell on Etsy. So there are a lot of different AI websites that you can use to create your art to sell on Etsy. Uh, personally, I use Playground AI, which you can see right now on my screen. So with Playground AI, they do have a few different options here. For the free version, you can create 10 images every 3 hours. And for the pro version, you can create 120 images every 3 hours. So once you create an account with Playground, this is what your main screen is going to look like. I usually go to T-shirt and it gives you hundreds of templates that you can choose from. If you see one that you like, go ahead and click on it and we can start editing with AI. So let's just go ahead and choose this one with the raccoon. So once the image pops up, it's going to also give you options on the left side that are similar to this one. And the ones with the little cube at the top that say pro are obviously only for the pro account. Just keep that in mind. So we're obviously going to want to make this template our own. So we're going to type in what we want to change on it uh, and the AI will go ahead and do that for you. So at the bottom, I went ahead and wrote change the jacket to a leather jacket and the hat to a baseball hat. Then you go ahead and press the arrow or hit enter. After about a minute or so, you can see that it came back with the options that I changed, which was the baseball cap and the leather jacket. So after you tweak and personalize your AI image and you're happy with it, you go to the top right and you hit export. You can download right away and save it to your computer. Or if you want, you can go ahead and upscale and remove the background if you have a pro account. I do recommend this if you're planning on doing this uh, full time and selling on Etsy full time with the AI art because this is much easier in the process of things. So after downloading the image to my computer, I'm going to go ahead to my Canva account. And just as a side note, I do have a pro Canva account. Next, you're going to want to go to the uploads on the left hand side and go ahead and upload the image you just downloaded from Playground. And just as another side note, I'm currently using a 36 inch by 48 inch uh, portrait to edit this. And I certainly recommend removing the background. So hit background mover. And there you go, background has been removed. I usually do a little bit more tweaking after the background is removed and try to make it as big as I can. And after you're finished editing whatever you need to edit on this image, go ahead and hit file, go to download. And there is one thing you do need to do that I recommend if you're going to be selling wall art on Etsy, that would be to hit transparent background. And again, you can only do this with a Canva Pro account, which I do recommend getting. It's $15 a month if you're going to be selling a lot on Etsy as far as wall art goes. So go ahead and download. So now that your image is done and it's edited and downloaded, the next thing you're going to want to do is choose a print on demand drop shipping service. So there are some good print on demand drop shipping services that will print, package and send off your uh, image and art. So I personally use Printful. And Printful is absolutely free to use. Uh, they just take a fee for printing, packaging and shipping out. So before doing anything, you're going to want to connect your Etsy store to your Printful. You can do this by going to the left hand side on Printful and hitting stores. Hit choose platform or connect store it might say and then you pick whatever one you are using and as you know we are using Etsy so you just go ahead and hit connect and then follow the directions. Go ahead to the left side and hit product catalog. As you can see under my favorites I do have a few different options here. I usually do the enhanced matte paper poster anywhere from $5.39. The reason I use this one is because it's the cheapest to create and gives you the highest profit margin. And as you can see, the enhanced matte paper poster uh, takes anywhere from five to seven business days to deliver right to your customer. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is hit create product template. I typically do vertical, so I'm gonna hit vertical and I usually do eight by 10, 12 by 16, 16 by 16, and then 18 by 24. That is my personal preference, but you can go ahead and do whatever you need to do. Next, of course, is going to be uploading your image, your AI image. And there it is. On the sides is the space where they recommend you not have the design sticking out. So you're going to want to just edit it to your liking and you do the same with each one. And as you're moving the image around to fit the poster, just be mindful of the dots per inches. As you can see here in the left hand corner, 
I'm at 313 dots per inches and that is in the good quality range. So once you've tweaked all your images to fit the posters and you're happy with it, go ahead and hit save to templates. It does give you the prices here from the smallest poster to the largest poster on how much it's going to cost. And if you're ready, you can go ahead and hit add to store and then go ahead and hit proceed to mockups in the bottom right hand corner. I usually just choose choose mockups, basic mockups. And you can see they give you a few different options here. You can go ahead and choose whatever one you want, or of course you can do your own personal mockups, whether it be you're buying them from Etsy and then editing them on Canva or another site. And that is personally what I do. So once you're happy with your mockups, go ahead and hit continue. And this is when your title, description, and tags are gonna be inputted. So for this, I usually use ChatGPT. So I went ahead and typed in, I need a title and description for my new matte finished poster that I am selling on Etsy. The image is a raccoon with sunglasses, a hat, and a leather jacket that says, just chill the 4th out, for the 4th of July. Be sure to include that the frame is not included. Go ahead and press enter. So if you're happy with what ChatGPT gave you, go ahead and just copy and paste back and forth. So after adding your title and description, at the bottom of the page on Printful, it's going to ask you for 13 tags max. These tags are to help when people are searching up relevant items. So I usually go back to ChatGPT. I'm going to type in, give me 13 relevant tags to this Etsy listing. Make sure to separate by comma and have each tag 15 characters or under. Press enter. All right, so it gave you the 13 tags. I'm going to go ahead and copy, go back to Printful and paste. And there you go. All right, and next what you're going to want to do is hit continue. So this is where the pricing comes in for your Etsy shop. I personally do free shipping on my storefront and that's a button right up here. The reason I do this is because customers typically like free shipping and they'll gravitate more towards your store with free shipping. So this just means that I'll be picking up the cost of the shipping and it's going to be $4.99 it looks like for each of our four options here. And when you do pick up the price of shipping and it's offered free shipping on your storefront, you're usually going to want to add that shipping price into your profit margin. So I would look around at competition, see what they're offering, but you go ahead and choose the price that you want to sell them at. So you have the option here, increase retail price, set retail price to, or decrease retail price. And obviously the percentage over here. And don't forget when setting your prices, Etsy does take fees, and typically those fees equal up to about 6.5%. So once you've chosen your prices, go ahead and hit submit to store. Now you're gonna to wanna to go to your Etsy account. And right now I am currently in my drafts under listings. Listing is on the left-hand side. And you can see right here that our poster went ahead and uploaded already. Here are your four mock-ups with all the different sizes of your posters. But again, I do recommend creating your own personal mock-ups that are more appealing to the eye, only because the mock-ups are really what are going to make you the sale. And the best part about using a drop shipping company that is connected to your Etsy store is that you don't have to worry about creating SKUs or anything like that. It's going to already do that and the quantity as well. And there isn't too much to do after this, just because again, Printful does most of it for you. So once you're done and satisfied with your Etsy listing, you're going to go ahead and hit publish with changes. That is how you create AI art and sell it on Etsy. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more future tutorials.